Hello, my fellow corn dogs. I'm Mr. Church. I know I've called you corn dogs before, and I've also posted videos like yesterday or today. Or I, I'm sorry for posting videos so much, but I, the the season five scoreboard came out, and I'm already late as shit. Um, so I have to look at it now. So don't worry. I'll stop posting videos after this, and then you can stop watching my stuff, and I'll, I'll delete my channel. But um, we have a new intro scene. That's important. And I uh, still got the same old characters for the PTS. But let's look at the scoreboard. Yay. Okay, fun. It's We're starting at the top th this time. Good. Let's see. We get this completely useless and featureless icon to start off with. Good medium supply package. Nice, nice. Don't want that. Ooh, a carry weight boost because I'm over encumbered. The fortune teller machine. What the fuck? Okay, so we're getting the fortune teller machine. This probably won't tell you the future, so it's probably just useless as shit. Now, if it could tell me who was about to nuke my camp for my prices, that would be helpful. Oh, good, another flare that looks like it's about to shit its pants. You know, this is the height of engineering. More filler. And now we have propaganda posters, which they're posters with, with propaganda, I guess. So... Modules. Good. You know, because we're going to have to make a waste them all. Crafting stuff over and uh, over again because they don't want to give us uh, the ability to reroll special slots. Oh, good. Caps. Filler. And Adams and this beautiful Blood Eagle Charmer hat, which looks, I guess, like... Um, I, that looks... Yeah. I don't need to tell you what that looks like. You have eyes. Green Skull Player icon. That's... You know what? What, what did we do? We just went to finger painting class or some shit like what's this shit uh per cards more po wait a second recruitment poster this is the exact same posters as before these are the same posters as maybe they maybe the the i the image that goes with it is different i i don't know it says poster not posters so maybe we just get one and it i don't I don't know. Okay, that's, you know, even worse than I thought. Oh, good! We have a new power armor skin with a candy image here and a little little triangle there, you know, Illuminati. And then let's take a look. Oh, yeah, the butt cheeks. Good image. Nice. Beautiful. Um, what's next? Legendary cores. That'll be good. Adam's caps. That's all filler. Another flare. This is a stormtrooper, uh, clone trooper, I should say, that's about to shit himself. Um, they really need to work on that uh, pose there for that flare characters. Bubblegum. And then, of course, the open and closed sign, which can tell you when you're open and closed when you're when you're in your camp that, that no one's going to stop by at because you forgot to turn the public icon display. Oh, chassis display. Okay, now we're talking. Something that we all want to see that they probably won't even remove until right before the next update. This will be so good to wish we had, like last time, you know? Because this time we can really hope we can actually get these in the game and put power armor on them to watch so people can see them in our camps. That's going to be so, so cool. But I think that they're stupid for not giving us a power armor display that looks like a power armor station because what if we want it to look like we're working on our power armor and i can't okay never mind i'm done okay so now we have you know just garbage over here another uh what what am i doing you know what after a few beers i couldn't tell you you know your guess is as good as mine but we've got nuclear key cards i'm never using those um and now we have mind power armor t51 paint with the exact same candy logo. I don't know why there's like a hard candy on the chest. And then there's always this butt cheek picture for the third image. But I guess people were asking what the butt cheeks of the power armor looked like. More filler. Then we got gold bullion. I guess that's all okay. Um, and then uh, the Raider Goon outfit. I mean, I don't know about Goon, but okay. Okay, the scrap kit. Nice. You know, one of the things I was really hoping that we could get in this new scoreboard was scrap kits. 
You know, I haven't used a single one since the game put them in the game for us to pretend we had. 42nd century play? That's just, that's just KD Inkwell looking angry. That's not, that's not anything. Okay, then we got filler, filler, perks. Oh, good. We've got another legacy painting here so that we can put paint on this, the Gatling Laz laser. Uh, yeah, okay. That's cool looking, I guess. Um... And uh, lunchbox, mind power, armor, excavator, paint, because that way I don't have to look like a tractor, but can still have, yeah, the, I guess, like, blue with the candy logo, I guess, on, on it. And uh, empty cores, atoms, caps, and the, uh, the, oh, the helmet doesn't come with the outfit, of course, it's like the beekeeper outfit. You, it tells you you got the whole thing, but in the picture has it. But of course, it's just false advertising. Well, that, that's called lying, but you know, let's not worry about that. Let's not get bogged down with who lies about what. Because <laughs> it's not... The... Okay, um, let's see. Now we've got the jumping the gap pose. That's a weird name to call, but it's good. Fine. Okay, it's better than skiing. No one asked for ski poses. They sure gave us 14 variations of that. Oh, the blood eagle paint. That's something that doesn't look abhorrent like most of their paints for their rifles. So, you know, that's not too bad, actually. Might actually be able to look at your weapon after you put that paint on it. Uh, we got some more modules. That's very useful. Uh, T60 paint with the same exact candy logo. Um, and if you hear my cat, like, screeching, just ignore that. Like that. That little shithead gets all the love he could ever ask for, and he still waits till I record to start screaming at the top of his- What the fuck is this? Ooh. Stairs with posts. Um, I'm not sure if you want to call it stairs with posts. It's just the gantry, but it's different versions of it. And there's this wood one here, I will tell you. I will definitely be using that wood one. I, I wish they had made it actually, you know, look like the wooden floors that we have already. But, you know, let's not ask them for- yeah, that's just too complicated, you know, giving us something that we already have um, and could actually make it use uh, work with. And so there's more filler, 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 caps, atoms, uh, more of the booze water. And then the, we've got this um, dolphin icon that I'm just getting more and more confused at this point. And then we got the perks, uh, Blood Eagle Charmer Blouse. Man, this is just so if you're a Blood Eagle and you need another source of income, I suppose, would be a one way of putting it. Uh, and then we've got some uh, Mind Power Armor X01 paint. It's like the X01, or it's like the Mind Power Armor paint we have already, but this one you can put on the hideous X01 uh, power armors as well and more modules more atoms more cats screaming in the background more gold bullion and the blood eagle charmer leather outfit which is like the other one but i guess more sad i don't know oh my god and then we've got the scrap kit and then this orange what it's just okay uh and then we've got the perk cards and another legacy paint. I think it's hilarious um, that they're making sure all the legacies have paints. Fun. I actually like this paint a lot better than last scoreboard, but, it, uh, you know, it's, it's fine. Uh, we've got more... Oh, Liquid Courage. That's useful, I, I guess, if I ever wanted to fight Earl. And we've got the Ultra Sight Power Armor with the exact same paint. Just, you know, he's holding his butt because we've been looking at it so much. Um, we got some Scrip. That's good. Adams, Gold Bullion, yada yada. Uh, this flare is not too bad because it's a dolphin. It doesn't have that clenched butt cheek look that the rest of them have. So that actually is, that's all right. And we got garbage repair kits. And then we've got Chad here. With his receding hairline, giving some kind of weird fist to the heavens, which that's not a battle cry pose, Bethesda. That's actually something else, but I'll let you, your PR team work that one out once 
you know, uh, Mind Power Armor T65 paint. We've got this paint for the, yeah, uh, yeah, it's just the T, yeah, just thick thighs, you know, with two C's. Jesus Christ. We got more lunch boxes, so that's good. I'm very happy. Oh my God. Okay, this is actually so far the only thing that I'm looking forward to in this entire scoreboard. And I'm looking forward to this a lot. I don't know if it does anything. It says he cleans your clothes. That doesn't make any sense. But um, I'm extremely happy about this addition to the scoreboard. Thank you. Genuinely, thank you, Bethesda. I've never said that before. So I know you probably think I'm joking, but actually happy about that. All right. Now let's look at the rest of the dog shit. More. Um, let's see. Lots of filler, filler, filler. Modules. And then another another uh finger painting from uh somebody's kids and then uh we've got uh i guess they accidentally forgot they were making this for fallout and not skyrim they give us a sword that no one's going to use and then um we're going to look at oh nine lunch boxes that's when you know things are getting serious uh, and then we've got mind power armor paint which i guess changes how it looks we don't know what it looks like yet when I get an image of that, I'll let you guys know for now. It's a mystery to me. Script. Um, what's happened? Oh, I noticed that there's not many uh, Fallout First rewards yet either. So those are probably going to be added later as well. And hopefully some of the filler. Oh, this is good. Good looking uh, backpack. Sort of Star Wars-y kind of. Probably to go with the other stuff they directly stole from Star Wars, which is cool. And then we've got this, uh, a beer stein, which has this phallic dolphin shape sticking out of the front. Which is, you know, not uncomfortable at all. And I will be putting on my table. Triumphant emote of some kind of triumph. And then we have the uh, perk coins, which is probably the only thing of value on this whole scoreboard. And the helmet for that a bird cage so we might actually get this weird pet with air quotes in the form of this bird so that's that's exciting this image of it is even better and then uh legendary cores which are invisible and uh then the outfit which they actually gave us the helmet first so we weren't lied to we actually knew that we were getting just the outfit this time because we already have the helmet so that's cool and this is cool it's a collectron that looks completely different than all the rest. Doesn't look like a Protectron. It looks like Red Rocket, uh, sort of like, uh, I guess, some sort of Enderman Red Rocket guy. Like the Slenderman. If you want to not rip off other games, I'll say it was Slenderman. And then uh, he would probably just bring you a bunch of wrenches or something. And then uh, the big boy bundle is a mystery because right now... We have a empty frame, and we have last season's scoreboard and last season's Stein as the pictures, and it doesn't even, it says we get power armor, the game board, and 500 atoms, which is a bullshit, um, so I'm assuming that will be updated and they'll actually give us something worth actually grinding through the entire scoreboard for, um, but I'm not going to like assume that, because that would be foolish of me to do so. But, you know, there's something else to throw your money at. I'm Mr. Church, and I'll see you in the next video.